If you love great Southern humor like I do, because I'm Southern, you might know my next guest blog called Whoa, Susanna, or maybe her books like Can't Make This Stuff Up, but her latest is this one. I love it. It's perfectly titled for today. It's called How May I Offend You Today? <laughs> Rants and Revelations from a Not-So-Proper Southern Lady. Y'all, please welcome Susanna B. Lewis. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Governor. <laughs> when I saw the title to the book, I thought, boy, that's so perfect. I mean, we're living in a world where everybody gets offended by everything all the time. Absolutely. So what's the heart of the message that you want to get to people in this book? Because I know it's supposed to, it's a humor. It's not just to be serious and yell at us. Right, it's both. Um, I have a pretty large social media uh, following and uh, I often post uh, my opinion my views on politics and religion, and a lot of people don't agree with no, my views. Kidding. Can you believe that? No. Um, a lot of people don't agree with me, and they let it be known in the comment sections, uh, you know, through hatred and that kind of thing. But you know, um, just because you're offended does not mean you're right. And so, that's uh, exactly thank you. right. Thank, thank you. you. So in the book, I just encourage readers to have a backbone, to not submit and cower, you know, to what other people think they should believe, to uh, speak their truth and speak it proudly and not be scared and exercise their First Amendment right. And, you know, the only one that we should be worried about offending is God. That's a great way to look at life. Thank you. You know, that's spoken like a true, sassy Southern woman. Yeah. I always say that when a Southern woman begins or ends a sentence with, bless your heart. Bless your heart. <laughs> it's not that something good is about to happen No, it's to you. not. <laughs> do you ever tell somebody, bless your heart? I do. Yeah. I, think, I think that's the, the nice way to keep from saying something rude. I think it's a wonderful <laughs> Southern manner to say, bless your heart. There you go. Yeah. You, you've done a lot of videos that have gone viral. Yes, sir. People love to see really just kind of a Southern lady go after it. Yep. What's the one that has probably had more views than anything you've done? Um, it was most definitely the one about the first day of kindergarten uh, when I took my son, who was my baby at the time. I've uh -huh. since had another baby, but when I dropped him off at kindergarten and it just had a meltdown because my little one was growing up and it went viral. I think like 60 million people saw 60 it. 60 million. Um, and uh, it, was, it was crazy. I had on no makeup in that video and uh, I just rolled out of the bed when I made it and 60 million people got to see it. <laughs> you, you talk about some stuff like the thank you note. That yep. is becoming a lost art. It so is. What, what, what's so important, what's so special about that? Um, I just think Southern manners are just, uh, you know, saying please and thank you, yes sir, yes ma'am. Um, a man holding a door open for a lady, taking a casserole to somebody when their family member's sick or somebody's died, saying, bless your heart, instead yeah. of being rude. Uh, I think those are Southern manners that we should just live by. I think it's, you know, what, how our mamas and grandmamas brought us up. And um, I'm often asked, what should we toss out? And I think outdated etiquette would maybe be, we don't have to serve and entertain on our finest china and silver. Um, Dixie plates and plastic forks are okay, but yeah, uh, works for, me. for the rest, I still, I still agree with those Southern manners. Did you grow up in a real Southern kind of household? Oh, yes, sir. Everything was proper and just so so Well, not so much proper. We were kind of... Um, we were, it was kind of a sitcom-like household. My mother and daddy were both very, very humorous people, but it was definitely Southern. My mama was, a, was Southern through and through, my daddy was too. Do you find that sometimes people outside the South, they absolutely don't get us? Oh, yes. Oh, why is that? Because I, I don't think know. we're pretty doggone significant. I think you know? we're great. I don't know what the problem is I, I don't there. get that either. I but, don't either. You know, they don't understand if you say, hey, I'm going to go fix a Coke, and they say, was it broken? Yeah. I, and it's not even a Coke, it's something else, but we just called it a Coke. Well, whatever it is, if it's a soft drink, it's a Coke. It's a because Coke. It may be orange and it may be made by Pepsi, but it's a it's Coke. It's a Coke, yes, sir, I absolutely agree. <laughs> Did you ever put peanuts in a Coke? Oh, yes. Okay, you're Southern. My granddaddy She's did real. Yeah. Folks, we just, there's yeah. authenticity yes, here. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Yep. Have, I know you had a moon pie. Oh, yeah. Sweet tea. Moon pie, RC Cola, sweet tea. There you go. Oh, yes. You're the real deal. I, thank you, sir. So let's talk about, because in your book, how may I offend you today? Right. What do you think is the thing that we ought to avoid in our contacts with people to, to not, and I know this is part of what you're being funny about, yeah. but you don't want to go around offending people, so. No. 
Uh, I think it's never our intention to be uh, rude or degrade one another or put somebody down. But, you know, um, I think we live in a hypersensitive, overly politically correct world. I think a lot of that's fueled by the media. Yeah. Um, and the left, dare I say, of, of them saying, you know, why are you laughing at that? You shouldn't laugh at that. That should be offensive to you. This isn't right. Trying to tell us how to think uh, and what we should think is funny um, or what we should find offensive. And, you know, I just say, you know, stand by your convictions. And, you know, if you think something's funny, laugh at it, as long as it's not degrading another person. But if you think a joke, just like the comedian that was just on, there's some things there that people could find offensive. I laughed my tail off. I did too. Um, I don't think he was meaning to to hurt anybody. And so, you know, it's just a, it's a fine line. I so you don't line. worry when you're doing your uh, conference speeches and stuff that you're going to cause somebody to get all upset. You just go ahead and ha be yourself. I, of course, have to choose my words carefully. I definitely don't want to, you know, hurt somebody's feelings intentionally. Sure. But I know my heart. The Lord knows my heart. And if my humor comes off as offensive sometimes and I don't mean it to be, you know, what can I do? I think you're a lovely Southern lady. You Thank love you, God, you love your country, and you love the culture of the South. Yeah. What could go wrong? That's know. why people ought to get how may I offend you today? Yeah. Also, all of Susanna B. Lewis's other writings, everywhere books are sold. Also on her website, which is, I think, a clever name, woesusanna.com. Yes, You'll also find her blog, podcast, and a lot more while you're there. And for more laughs and Southern wisdom, follow her on social media.